Hey, it's me, Thomas, or Team Farrell, whatever, back from 3D skill with another exciting tutorial about Cinema 4D. Today we are talking about stitches and seams for maybe clothes or furniture. So, but we are not talking about really stitches uh, with geometry. So there are plugins which creating stitches. So we are talking about to add stitches afterwards to a model maybe. And yeah, to it's better for for game engines or for uh, for animation. Sometimes animating a real amount of geometry is not very comfortable. So yeah, we take just uh, we are just taking stitches as textures. So let's have a look at a model I created here in the texture architecture pack available on my website, of course, and tables and chairs maybe. So it. I'll have a look at this at this uh, chair here. So it is not this chair, I think. It is another chair. I think this is the right chair in this case. So we can see it better. Where is it? This it was. This was it. So let's look at this chair. Let's turn on the physical renderer, of course. And yeah, to see it better. So as you can see, the model here is real stitches. So this are textures. This is a stitch texture, and this texture is just a yeah. Okay. So let's uh, bring this model out and I duplicate this thing here and just delete here everything. So let's delete this guys here and this one stitches as well. Just put the seed out. And as you can see now we have here our model. So <clears throat> and also here a little bit of um, yeah, a little bit of depth here in this to for the stitches later. And as we when we have a look to the UV map so we can see here now the model is completely UV mapped. But now if we want to add stitches, this doesn't work because the UV map is a rounded shape and the stitches need an exact straight uh, UV map for that. So how can we do that? First, we have here, so the seat has a fully UV map and the 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 fabric texture has here a, a little bit of tiling but fits com perfectly to the to the seat here and we have here as a, a stitches texture so the stitches texture is also in my in this bundle so here are all the textures which are in this uh, chair tables and chair bundle so here in this case i have a stitch here uh, here i have the the diffuse map so that I can uh, give the a separate color. I have here the stitch uh, ambient occlusion, also a stitch alpha and a stitch normal map. Sometimes I'm working here with, uh, with a Photoshop file which has all these, uh, these, uh, these maps in one Photoshop file because the Photoshop file it has multiple layers so I can put in for every layer accordingly to the layers so, uh, some of these stitches and in Cinema 4D you can activate the layer. So but in this case we take this this stitch here. We have it already imported so I import here I have imported here the, in the diffusion is the stitch AO in the alpha channel is the stitch the stitch alpha and in the normal map is the stitch normal. So this is our stitch texture we have. So now we have to bring it onto um, our model. So when I, I won't have a stitch here, yeah, in this uh, thing. So I have to create here loop select and select here my my uh, thing here. And now I add the stitch to this uh, selection, and a selection tag is created. But as you can see now, when I um, make this uh, yeah, a little smaller, or let, let it here maybe and make it here a little bit smaller as you can see um yeah the stitch is not working in this case because the uv map is not straight it is uh as you can see the uv map 
is here uh, in this shape here. So, but the stitch texture is straight, so we can't uh, loop that. So how can we fix that? So in this case, um, yeah, we simply go to our, let's delete this quickly. Oh, let's let let's let it here. So let's create here. This is our UV map for the model. So to force the stitches follow our UV map, we need to make a new UV map. So I simply press Control and drag my new UV map. So on the end of the stack. So because now the stitches are reading from this UV map because it's the same UV map at this, so you didn't recognize any difference. So I turn off this UV lock thing. So now I can manipulate the UV and now I go into the UV editor here. And as you can see now, for the first thing I drag my UV map out, my selected things and now you can see the changes here for the stitches. Now it's reading from the last UV map and this, we know the stitch has a the stitch has a uh, the stitch texture looks like this so here we have a picture which is 2000 pixels a 2k pictures and on the on the sides there is nothing on the picture this this is important now oh uh, no this is not important because we just uh uh, attached it to this thing so but yeah so these tools are not necessary because the material is only attached to this and the selection tag so we can maybe um, decrease here the size put it away maybe on the corner here and now I have here two stitches so to get this combined stitches I first uh, select the stitches here and press here um, projection frontal so now they are together and now i decide where i want to have a cut so maybe i want to have a cut here on the back because it's not visible the back side the, because it's so i choose here a corner uh, the edges and now i say here for the moment um uv relax and edge selection as you can see, we have here now, it's now curved, of course. So what we, what I have to do now is I make it straight. And in Cinema 4D 23, it's really cool to uh, make this. So you go to UVs and simply um, UV to rectangular. As you can see, it makes it absolute straight here now. And now what I can do is I can use here the maximize uh, UV completely so it stretched it completely out so I have perfectly fit to the texture and now I go to my uh, materials here to the mapping here to my material and now I can so reset here this in the tag 100 so we need uh, to make it smaller so so that the stitches goes um, vertical. So we need to uh, make it smaller in the vertical. So here it is. Now you can't, you can't see it at the moment here. So we have to, as you can see now it's small. So I make this, yeah, I tile it. So now we come to the, so it has to be really small. 0.5 maybe yeah, point, point 0.3 so now we have brought in the stitches now so in the width we don't have to do anything because in the width the uh, it, it fits exactly so we can manipulate the width of course so we can make it a little bit brighter but then we have to adjust here a little bit the parameters so this works also for us So, but let's leave it at this, at the, at this state here. 
So now we brought in the stitches here, we can make it a little bit smaller. Perfectly aligned to our model now. So this is what the what the UV map looks like for the stitches and we can yeah tile it on the material. Now we have added real stitches. Yeah, this is how this works and if you want to make more stitches here on the on this down and this on this thing here the same approach here loop select here the thing um, select here on the back side um, the edge go into the UV map editor and yeah first of all this UV map and as you can see here this is this one we drag it away and say here um, relax and also now um, this one and stretch it out maybe we, we mirror it or something and then we add this uh, we choose um, this one so we choose this one and this below and add this completely to the selection here free selection so now both are now textured you see because i added this to this so i have here as well here the exact seams yeah that's it and so if you have a really complex you have to um, complex um, um, setup for s stitches you need of course um, then to make more uv maps but in this case now it works so when i hit render you can see we have now here real stitches and the animation doesn't make any problems yeah but what is if we have more complicated stitches let's open another um project here another chair from the architecture bundle so let's have a look at this chair here so as you can see here this is here the chair doesn't has doesn't have any um as you can see the stitches are here uh, so in the in the real time view they look a little bit weird but when i'm hit render so as you can see here we have real leather stitches now and yeah this is uh, really so the only thing what you have to do is you have to take care of the uv map and of the modeling of course the topology is also very important here so there's a seat back here as you can see here the seat shape here and when we turn on here as you can see here the topology is very important that the that the the polygon flow is yeah working with the stitches as well so you have to take care of that so in this case um yeah it works here perfectly for the stitches and yeah for this you need of course uh multiple Oh, no, in this case, I didn't use uh, multiple stitches. So, but in this case, the UV map for the stitches uh, obviously uh, overlapping. So, because I have just one stitch, you see here, I have just here this. This is the UV map for the seed, and this is the UV map for the stitches. And this, uh, this was the first, and I overlapped it. So, yeah. And you can see yeah, I just overlapped it but take the first uh, approach if you have symbol for 23 you can use here this um, yeah um, UV to rectangle so this is perfectly yeah that was the tutorial about making stitches and I hope you have yeah fun like me subscribe me whatever and I say goodbye